beans. Hello, mongoose. I'm here with my lunch, not my tea. <laughs> and I'm here. Today I want to talk about the books I'm going to read once I've finished Lord of the Rings. Currently what I've been doing is I'll read a short, like, kid's book. Then I'll read, like, a hundred or so pages of the Lord of the Rings while I'm working at the library. But I'm now at page 800 and plus in the Lord of the Rings, which means I'm nearing the end. And so I need to think about what I want to eat, what I want to eat next. Ah, sorry about the interruption. A visitor came in and I had to go. He's very deaf though, so I can keep talking. So I, um, work. So, um, yeah, the books I want to read once I finish The Lord of the Rings. And, um, as you can tell, I'm moving around because, well, they're around the library. Why not? Starting with the series I desperately want to get to again. The Cat Who. I've read them all. I want to reread them. I moved without you knowing. To the Wheel of Time. Yes. After Cat Who, I want to read The Wheel of Time. I am a little bit insane. I know. Side point, what's the truth seeker doing in the fiction section? Whatever, I don't know. Have to go. Bye. I do want to finish off my reread of the Chronicles of Narnia. This is not the best place for me to show you about them. Um, so just a second. Let's change. Yep, here we go. A little better. Finish rereading the Chronicles of Narnia. I would like to do that. I got this far. I uh, haven't read this one in ages, or this one, or this one, or this one, which is like all the ones I haven't read yet. So I don't want to finish those. Also here, I want to reread these. They're fairly short, so I think that'll be definitely doable. Um, other than that, I don't know over here. Back up, back up, back up. I mean, I might finish my reread. Well, I might properly reread these. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know if that section's going in. Ooh! National Velvet, y'all! It's been a while since I tried, but I want to ensure that I've read it. So I don't know if I have completely. Also, Indian in the Cupboard. I'm like 90% of the way through Indian in the Cupboard. <laughs> and I haven't finished it. But that's say the point. I want to reread these two. Um, I'm not entirely sure I've read the full version of this. But I know I've read the full version of that. And I get these kind of this one, at least, kind of confused with Hannah Green Gables. It's really good. Highly recommend. Um, so yeah, I want to reread, read, reread Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm and her new chronicles. I'd point out the James area that's just to my left, but it's all over the place. So instead, I'm going to talk about rereading this. Yeah. I read it once, it was delightful. If I ever find it in a thrift shop, I'm getting it. What's not the love? It's amazing. Right now I'm in front of the book the internet doesn't know I'm reading. And I'm keeping it that way until I finish it. But I haven't read it in like three months or so, but I've loved what I have read. So I'm so excited to get back into it. I should get back into it. But it's kind of in a weird position now. It's not where it used to be. Library got rearranged. We're here in the Christian fiction. I consider rereading the O'Malley series. I've read them. I'm considering rereading them. Um, 
also on here. Get Oak. Oaky. However you say your name. And there's another one. I don't know where it is. But it was like a... Um... Christian fiction, mystery, historical fiction situation. That should be switched around, whatever. And I really enjoyed it. I don't know where it is. Most of these are Amish fiction, which I weren't historical fiction. Not a big fan of. But, yeah, I like the mystery. Excitement. Where is it? Ha ha I found it! This one. Yeah, you can totally see what it is. It's Lady Trent Mystery Number 1. The Mermaid in the Basement. Really pretty. I enjoyed it. I'd like to reread it. Also, I don't know what that is. But it reminds me of another series that this library doesn't have that I'd like to reread. I actually started rereading it. But yes. Lady Trent Mystery Number 1. I should. I should look up the rest of the series, because our library doesn't have it, but it was, as I remember, really quite good. Mystery. That's the only way I can stand Christian fiction, really. <laughs> there you have it. All the books I want to read or... Is she catching Katie? No, that's not... That's not what I think it is. All the books I want to reread and... Or read for the first time. Maybe that seems like rereads. Um... That are here, the library. So right now, there are like a few other, um, maybe Sea Fire, maybe the Deepest Roots. Um, other than that, I really can't say. Most of the books here are junk. Junk. Well, at least I wouldn't like them. I mean. There's classics. I should read this one. I read a thought I might not get to. These are like enough books I've mentioned already for most of a year. And I mean I could read all those anyways. Which I haven't read any of. Um I could also reread all of this, but I don't have to come to the library to reread Louis L'Amour. I can do that at home. Yeah, we have all the Louis L'Amour. Well, most of them. So I could reread those, but I don't think I will. Who cares for Louis L'Amour? I don't. I think that's all. All I will be reading, not reading. I didn't know there were any Peretti here. Not that I'm going to read them, but... It's Peretti. And they're not... In the Christian fiction section. I don't know. Library book organization systems are beyond me. I'll also probably... Be getting out one or two of these. Might as well take it over right now. Ooh. Adventures of Robin Hood. Maybe should we read that? Read that? 